Previously on Dream Team. I'm delighted to say that Linda phoned me an hour ago and I finally convinced her to take the job. What? You promised me total control of the coaching and playing staff. I should be calling Alan anyway. You haven't seen him, have you? Why should I see Alan? They are offering you two and a half million a year. Yeah, but to walk out on our Chester now. Even if it is for Milan. Coffee, Mrs. Block? White no sugar, isn't it? She is just your secretary. Who just happens to be the boss's daughter. Enough is enough. What? You know I'm around this time. Rawson. Oh, Fletcher's onside here. He's already scored one. Can he seal it here for Harchester United? Yes, he can. Two goals for Carl Fletcher. Three points for Harchester. And they've played some lovely football under Alan Rothman. Hey, unstoppable, hey. eh? Just think, if we can do this with our Chester, what are we going to do to Milan? Here's to our continued success. Cheers. Hey, Cheers. Salute. <laughs> right then. Look what a night, eh? Yeah. Ooh. See you lovely people in the morning. Yeah. I nearly forgot. I bought you a present. Alan, whatever for? Well, it might come in handy. <laughs> it's great. Look, David, we better get practicing. Plenty of time for that. I'll see you tomorrow, then, Al. Yeah, yeah. Bright and early, eh? Yeah. We've got empires to build. <laughs> you coming to bed? Yeah, in a bit, love. I'm just going to clean up the glasses. Yeah, I'll always at the night desk. Right, is Paul Hankin around? Yeah, it's David Spears. Paul, hi. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but I got something you might be interested in. What would you say if I told you I could deliver you Alan Rothman on a plate, taking bungs, tapping up players? No, I don't want pain. This is personal. might not show. I said I'd be here. So, what have you got for me? Rothman's been tapped up by an Italian club and he's accepted the offer. Breach of contract. It's not exactly front page news, is it? Happens all the time. Okay, what would you say if I told you he's got his hand in the till every time a player's transferred? Now look, just say in principle, I can arrange for Rothman to transfer a player. Can you get the proof? If you can arrange it, I'd say we've got a story. Oh, I can sort it all right. All you need to do is get it down on tape. <clears throat> the Italians would kill you if you did that to their food. I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to. It's a nice cup of coffee. You're going smoother then. Oh, mate, I'm going to tell you about the conversation with Signor Donatoni. The deal is done. This time next week, we're having breakfast in Savini's. Sounds great. You're a bit cool about this. You're still on board, David, aren't you? Why wouldn't I be? Yeah, sooner we're out of here, the better, eh? We can stop the pretense, aren't we? Well, you seem to have managed so far. You're late. You're early. Dad, do you think you don't mind me being here? You're my daughter and I love you and you're coming into my business with me. What's to mind? Mr Stein, Mrs Parker, they're ready for you now. Linda. 
Natasha's coming into the business with me. Thought I'd bring her along today to show her how things are done. Oh, well, good for you, Tash. Congratulations. Right, well, we better get started then. How can I help you both? There's a problem with Bandili. He's feeling a bit unsettled. Why is that? Well, he loves the club and he totally respects you, but he's not happy with the current manager's situation. Alan's been a right pain. He's slagging Monday off behind his back and to his face. He's being completely out of order. Thing is, Monday feels he's being disrespected. It's OK, Claudia, just leave it. It's fine. Come, you sorry lot. You think a win against Sunderland means you don't have to prepare for a Champions League game? Put some effort in. It's a shame about leaving Stevie, isn't it? I mean, he's just the sort of player we could use in Milan. I don't fancy him playing against us later on down the line. You mean taking with us? It's a very good idea. If my memory serves me right, he's got a buyout clause in his contract. Good idea, David. Well done. Now, Danny, on the other hand, well, he's up for England under-21s. He's got a great future ahead of him. Mm. He's had loads of interest from all the teen magazines. They all want interviews. Thinking about hiring a security guard just to keep the girlies at bay. <laughs> <laughs> Looking after Danny's publicity is a full-time job in itself. I mean, Tasha's got her hands full there. He's having the time of his life. It's Monday I'm concerned about. Yeah, look, I know Alan can be difficult. But he's a good manager. We're lucky to have him. Leave it with me, Jeff. I'll have a word with him. It's a smart move, your dad bringing you on board. I think you'll do really well. Thanks, Linda. Right. File those for me, would you? Tash! Oh. Just a bit of privacy, please. Danny, are you ready? I promised to show your face at the new sports centre this afternoon. The car's waiting. We'll have two minutes. All right, I'll be outside. Okay. Uh, what about my lunch? I was going to come on. You know where to use a tin opener. Looks like the canteen view, sunny boy. A nice deep ball in here. You're going to talk to Stevie about Milan? I'll do more than that. I'll get on the phone this afternoon. Get Milan to talk to his agent. I want him there with us. Uh, is there a problem? No, I'm fine. Even I can just about manage answering a few phone calls and making coffee. You knew what the job entailed when you took it on. I know. It's just... And it doesn't seem fair. I mean, I know I don't know anything about football or how to run a club. But are you seriously telling me that the goalkeeper's wife is any use? I can't believe a dad brought her along. Listen, who Jeff Stein brings along to his meetings with him is none of your business. Tashi's working for him now, and you're working for me. End of story. I just want to get stuck in. Actually learn a few things, you know? Listen, you can speak Spanish, can't you? Yeah. Well, why don't you give Real Mallorca a ring, see if any of their directors have got special requirements for next week. It's usually my job to entertain them, so why don't we make it yours? OK, thanks. I never see her. I can't remember the last time I spent a night in. Just me and her. You're getting old before your time, mate. We pipe and slippers next. Our next step is having a baby. Girls her age back home all having big families by now. She's getting all tied up with this management stuff. Jeff's sticking ideas into her head. I reckon she's after one of those young businesswomen of the year or something. You want to get out of the duff, mate. That'll keep her busy. Start producing some airs to the park of family fortune. Fat chance she's never around. But engineer a little accident. Poke holes in your johnnies, hard her pills, whatever. She'll thank you for it at the end. Stevie! You're early. Don't I get a kiss, then? Not here. Look at this lot. They're getting complacent. Let's have them out onto that training route this afternoon, right, for at least half an hour. Put them over some hurdles and some ladders. They get their minds thinking straight. And we can't have Stevie Shaw wasting his time slobbering over some bimbo. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to be very busy.
thought you were never coming. Well, you thank your husband for that. He came up with a plan of taking Stevie to Milan. Oh, right. Listen to what I've learned. Non posso smettere di pensare a come fai l'amore con me. What? It means I can't stop thinking about the way you make love to me. Non ho molto tempo. Andiamo. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about, but it sounds really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> pills, pills, pills. What are you doing? Uh, I just knocked over your makeup bag and um, I'm just putting everything back. Do you really need all these lipsticks? I'm not even going to answer that. So, um, how was it? Yeah, it was brilliant. It was hard work getting Danny to meet people, though. He's so shy, bless him. <laughs> and are you, uh, working for your dad all week? Yeah. Uh, is that what you really want? Oh, Jamie, don't start. What? Just asking if that's what you wanted. I mean, all this running around after Danny, I don't get it. And if it's not Danny, it's Monday and he's a shoulder to cry on. Or helping Fletch organise his life for him. What's your point? Well, I just think that something's wrong if you're spending all your time and energy on my friends. I mean, you need something else to focus your attention on. What are you talking about? Well, I was thinking that we should, uh Try for baby. If that waitress eyes you up one more time, I'm gonna slap her one. Calm down. She's only doing her job. Wait a minute, darling. Just grab a quick load of the gaffer. How's it going? Yeah, not bad. I thought we'd find you, yeah. Mm. I just want to ask you something. Now, what I'm going to tell you mustn't go any further, right? Mustn't tell anyone, not even your agent. OK. What would you say if I said I could guarantee you a place at one of the biggest clubs in the world? What do we want with the baby? Now of all times. I just think it's time that we started a family. And come on, whatever we'll great time trying. But I've just started working, and I love it. Oh, but running around after your dad, it's hardly life-changing, is it? But having a baby, it would change both our lives for the better. Stopping stupid footballs from going in a net isn't exactly rocket science. I will want children one day. I love the thought of us with kids, but I'm only 22. And you're only 24. Uh, 25 on Friday. OK, 25. But we're both still too young. Well, I don't think we should wait. I want a baby as soon as possible. Oh, do you? Well, seeing as it's my decision, I'll decide when the time is right. Not because you're bored with your life and want a new toy to play with. Milan, it's a great opportunity. I just got to Archester. What about the lads? What are they going to think? What about Linda Block? Oh, don't worry about them. What do you think? Sand, I guess. Why don't you join us? We could talk over it some more. What about her? Uh, don't worry about that. She ain't exactly as sharp as tool in the box. Well, look, don't say anything to anyone, right? Not until I've done your deal. And then we pull the plug. Good boy. Mm. Don't, David. I'm tired. Mm. I'm just gonna have a bath. Good news about Stevie coming to Milan, isn't it? Out! What? Nothing. Hankin? Yeah, it's David Spears. David, so what's happened? It's moved up a gear. Alan's put a call into Milan to get the ball rolling with Stevie Shaw's transfer. Great. Now all we've got to do is reel him in. Is there any marmalade? I'll get you. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Well, I do. 
Exactly which part of no don't you understand? Well, I haven't even thought it through. Oh, OK, I'll think. Thought. No. Happy now? Oi. Look, I'm the one that's going to have to carry it, and I'm the one that's going to have to go through the hill of giving birth to it. You don't know that. Well, if you're so keen, why don't you get pregnant? I just think that if you gave it a chance... Oh, give me strength. Fletch, could you please tell my husband that I do not want a baby right now, maybe in a few years' time, but right now the answer is no. N-O. No, OK? I'll take that as a no then, mate. Thanks, Sam. Good morning. Good morning. I've left a list of today's appointments on your desk, the kettle's on, your post, and there are also some faxes that came through overnight. And I managed to put a call into Ray Mallorca. Well done. Thank you. Claudia, when did this fax arrive? What? This fax, when did it arrive? I don't know. I should have been told about it immediately. <sighs> Excuse me for breathing. <sighs> Morning, Jamie. How are you? Yeah. What's up with Butterfingers? Oh, nothing. He's just realised who wears the trousers in his house, and it ain't him. Shut up, Fletch. And what was that you were telling us about being a master of your own wife? Just leave it out, will you? No, I tell you, it's simple. She needs a baby. Yeah, but the only problem is, it seems, Mrs Parker would rather stick needles in her eyes and get herself pregnant. Yeah, so she wanted one herself. Get her one from somewhere else. She sees it, she falls in love with it. Problem solved. All right, I'll just go and nick one from a supermarket, shall I? You know, see if anyone notices it. Oh, no, no, no. In Romania, girls are getting rid of babies all the time. They have too many children, so they sell them to look after the rest of their family. It's no big deal. It's only here where you're all so... Civilised? Why are you all all on the get out, right? Get off the get out! Come on! Stop, stop, stop! Give me the ball! What are you doing? Give me the ball! But where's your danger? Inside, right, so get him on the outside, what? Yes? What now? Well, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> it's the block woman. Wants to see me at the stadium right away. Do you want me to take over here? No. Got more important things to do than jump every time she calls. Go and see what she wants, eh? Want me? Well, we both can't stay here, can we? Someone's got to get this lot ready for the Mallorca home leg. Good luck. <sighs> sort it out, fellas. It's page one. Come on. Faith! Come in. Thanks. Where's Alan? Well, he was right in the middle of training, so rather than keep you waiting, I... Right, well, we've had an offer for Stevie Shaw from Milan. Right. You and Alan know nothing about it? No. What do you think? Will he want to go? Well, it depends what they're offering. I mean... He's a good player. They're a good club. Yes, but should we let him go or should we try and keep him? Well, without Alan being here... Oh, I did ask him, but he seems to be too busy. Well, obviously, I can't speak for him. Yeah, obviously. So what the point in this discussion is, I don't know. Claudia, could you send through Stevie Shaw's agent's details Sorry. and his files, please? David? And also, could you ask Roger to let me have the current wage structure, please? Thank you. Would you ask Stevie to come and see me after training, please? Yeah. Or do you want me to do that through Alan? I think I can manage that. Thank you. Andre, you know what you were saying about these babies? Well, Jimmy? I, I can't imagine selling a child like that. How do these people live with themselves? Well, they do what they have to. In Romania, still, there's great poverty in some places. But they do not want to, but they know their children have better lives in other countries. I suppose so, but it doesn't make sense. There's one country, they've got millions of babies going spare, but he can't get one from love no money. It's a crazy world, my friend. Oh, hey. I've faxed on the block and they've asked permission to talk to Stevie Shaw about his transfer. Great, all rolling. Yeah, well, maybe not so great, because she wants to keep him. 
She's setting up a meeting with his agent and she wants me to send Stevie up later on this afternoon to see her. No, that's good. As long as he wants to leave on his own accord, he looks better on us. Yeah, but what if his own accord changes and he decides to stay? I mean, she could offer him anything. No, he's a good boy. He'll do as he's told. And once he's signed, it's bye-bye. Can't chase that. <laughs> Don't you mean a reba <laughs> Nice one. Oi! When I asked to see the organ grinder, that's who I expect to see, not the monkey, OK? Now, what are we going to do about this offer we've had from Milan for Stevie Shaw? Felon. I beg your pardon? Stevie Shaw's got a £15 million buyout in his contract. With that sort of money, we buy two decent players. I don't see what the problem is. Yeah, but... Look, I'm in charge of buying and selling this club, right? And it's going to stay that way. Now, if you excuse me, I'm a very busy man. Bueno, si me puedes mandar todo por fax, uh, lo puedo confirmar con el señor Blog. Y te puedo dejar saber el feder día. Gracias. Adiós. Hello. Uh, Mrs. Blog won't be long. Why don't you carry on talking in Spanish till she gets back? They should really be in a bikini on a beach. Uh, if you'd like to take a seat. What I'd really like to do is to take you out. How nice. You can call me. In about a thousand years. I go with a sense of humour. Unusual. A man with an ego. Typical. Stevie! Sorry I'm late, shall we? <laughs> Please sit down. You've probably heard about the offer we've had from Milan for you. You know what things are like. Nothing remains a secret for long. Yeah, tell me about it. The thing is, Stevie, I don't want you to go. I mean, I know what your agent will want. He'll probably get more money out of moving you, but uh, I think we've got a good chance of going all the way in the Champions League this year, and I want you to be part of that. Well... Are you unhappy here? No. Good. Because I think we can build this team around a good captain like you. I mean, you've certainly got the skills. The Mallorca and Sunderland game showed us that. I, um... I prepared a counter-offer for you, just to consider. I think I should talk to my agent before making any decision. Yeah, of course. What are you doing tonight? David, this is Mark. He's a night sports editor on the paper. His parents came over from Italy in the 70s. Oh, great. So, you'll know some of the background stuff already, then. Right now, the commercial director in Milan is... Gazzale. That's it. Well, you're him. Now, you need to get Rothman to discuss the deal for Stevie Shaw, but the important part is to get him to admit how much he's going to cream off the top. All right, now, they've already sent a fax to Harchester, so you'll need to mention that. And just keep plying him a drink and you'll be fine. No problem. OK. We'd better get on to him, then. Um, can I speak to Alan Rothman? All right. I don't know, but... How's work? Fine, love. Listen, I can't hang around. I've only come to dump a bag off. I've got a meeting at the blue room in half an hour. What, are you going out? Yeah, I told you. I've got to meet my dad and Danny. Oh, yeah. Seem... It's not like you cooked a gourmet meal now, is it? <sighs> Hardly. It's just not enough. Right, shouldn't be late. See ya. Bye. Jeff, Alan, white right, son, don't believe a word he says. Any money he offers, we are as much as he puts in his pocket. Tash, Alan. Slime bag. Bottle blonde. <laughs> Baby, where the hell are you? No, he's not here yet. What do you mean you're ill? I need you here. I don't believe it. The block woman's just walking. I've got to go by. Hello, Alan. Linda. Stevie. Alan, you remember Yasmin? Yeah. You know my agent, don't you? Yeah, of course. How are you? Nice to see you again. And you. I'll get some drinks, Mrs. Block. 
Oh, it's Linda, and uh, I'll have a spritzer, please. You go. Yeah. What the hell are you planning? At? I told you I wanted the Milan deal to go through. I'm the executive, Alan. And if I choose to ignore the advice of my manager, then that's exactly what I'm entitled to do. Mrs. Block, yeah. the table's ready. Thank you. I'll speak to you in the morning. Yes. Mr. Altman. Mr. Casali. Piacere. Oh, parla italiano? No. <laughs> um, is that Stevie Shore and his agent? Will they be joining us for dinner? We can get the deal sorted now. Uh, no, no, I want to talk to her on her own first, uh, you know, before I involve anyone else. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go up to my room and uh, I'll get myself some food up, yeah? That was a pretty quick meal. Did everything go OK? David? I don't know, I didn't go. I thought you said it was important. I've decided not to go to Milan. You're joking, right? Oh, don't be stupid. What about Alan? He's always looked after us. You can't just dump him like that. Ah, Alan will be fine. Alan doesn't need me. I don't understand. You'd be coaching one of the biggest clubs in Europe. Look, we've only just moved here. And I think we should give this place a chance. I mean, maybe it's time to put down some roots. In Harchester? Well, it doesn't matter where we are, does it? As long as we're together. No, of course not. What did he say? I don't know. I didn't tell him. That's why I didn't go to the dinner. I hate the deceit. You've been stood up? Yeah. Seems that rather than spending a night with her husband, my wife would rather spend it with her father and Danny Rawsthorn. Well, you see, there is your problem. To get a woman pregnant, it is helpful if she is in the same room. Yeah, very funny. What are you doing here, anyway? I asked him to come over. He's got a couple of bottles of that, uh, what is it? Twister. You what? In my country, all problems are solved by this. Drink, and the world will be a better place. Thanks very much. Oh. Ooh. I'm tasting some moonshine in my time out. It's disgusting. And don't worry, by the third glass, it'll taste like the finest champagne. Well, you better fill me up, because all I can taste is paint stripper. That is disgusting. <laughs> well, the deals look OK but I think we can squeeze them a bit more on the boot endorsements. Yeah, well, I didn't say if I waited him on the phone today. I just told him we'd be exploring all the options. <laughs> Good girl. What about the poster deals? Rubbish. I told him they're going to have to do much better than that. But they didn't get back to me by the close of play today, so I just thought I'd give you the ballpark. Right. Are you all right, mate? Uh, yeah. But to be fair, I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. To tell you the truth, mm. bye. But we'll learn together, yeah? <laughs> Ain't that right, Dad? That's right, babes. Cheers. 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 I think you can see from our offer, we're very serious about Stevie's role at Artists United. Both Alan and I have got great hopes for this season in the Champions League, and uh, I just want you to realise how far we're prepared to go to make sure you're the captain who leads Artists' campaign. Well, thanks. I think Larry and I need to talk your offer through. Yeah, of course. Stevie Shaw's my man. He go wherever I tell him to. It is just as well that you have no conscience to take the player from the club you're in today to the club you are going to be tomorrow. In this game, we haven't got time for conscience. <laughs> True. All we need to do now is uh, sort out the financial terms. What do you want to do about the signing on fee? Well, Stevie gets 50%. Mm -hmm. If I know his agent, he wants 25%, which leaves 25% as my arrangement fee. I presume you have an offshore account. I mean, you won't be wanting to pay tax on this money. Taxes for mugs. This is between me, you and my pension fund. <laughs> More wine?
Have you and Yasmin been together long? We're engaged, actually. Oh. Oh, have you set a date? Well, it's hard to pin him down. I wanted a summer wedding, but he's always got so many plans. <laughs> well, I just hope they don't include leaving Harchester. Are you sure you won't have any regrets yourself? Leaving Harchester? Are you joking? It'd be a relief to leave this Mickey Mouse outfit. I know they've had their problems in the past. I can sum them up in two words. Linda Block. I always thought she was very well respected. If you live in a psychiatric ward, yeah. The woman's a fruitcake. She knows nothing about running a football club. She should do what she does best. Look pretty, stay quiet. I've got to tell you, I can't wait to work for a proper professional club again. That, I can assure you. Well, thank you for a very interesting evening. But, if you'll excuse me, I have an early flight. Just a minute. Yeah. Arrivederci, Alan. And, uh... Thank you for the cigar. Goodbye. See you in Milan. Perfect. <laughs> you know, Milan isn't as great a city as it's cracked up to be. I wouldn't exactly call Harchester paradise. But the whole thing would have been a nightmare anyway. You don't know unless you try, David. Now we'll never know. Is that so? Why are you so upset, Dawn? I mean, there'll be other opportunities. I'm upset because you've made the decision without any consideration as to how I might have felt. I'm going to bed. Fine. You see, I know I'm right. If she had a baby, she'd see how much happier she'd be. I mean, she can forget all that, that working lark. She's just scared. She's a model. She's worried about her figure. Yeah, but she's not modelling anymore anyway. So why worry? What, I mean, I'm not worried. Are you worried, Fletch? For the first time in three weeks, I'm not worried. So, um, how much would, um, a baby from Romania be? You sure you want to do this? Well, <clears throat> there's no harm in um, finding out how much it would cost, is there? No. We'd have to pay for the mother's flight to Harchester. Well, that's nothing. Flight from Romania to here. And expenses. And then if you're still interested, I don't know, eight, maybe ten thousand? Was that all? Well, I get that in clean sheet bonuses. I mean, I got that from the Sunderland game. Unclean sheet bonus, you can buy yourself a small child from Romania. That's mad, isn't it? Uh, maybe I should call my friends, eh? I can always change my mind, though. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. All right, do it. What the hell are you doing here? David's not coming. He said he doesn't want to go with you. Don't be daft. He just told me he doesn't want to go. It's all set up. After the deal I've done, he can't refuse. It won't make any difference. He can't work without me. He doesn't know how. I'll go with you. What? I'll come with you, even if David doesn't. How's that possible? I'll leave him. <laughs> no, 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 you can't do that. We don't need David. We can be together. That's not what it's been about. Never has been. You know that and I know that. If David doesn't go, then neither do you.
It went like clockwork. This time tomorrow, your boss will be front and back page news. Sure I can't tempt you? No, you keep it. I've got what I wanted. You mess with you pretty badly, eh? Anything else you want to tell me? Well, you better get your skates on if you want to square things within the block. The paper's not going to sit on this one for long. Right, I'm off. I'll be right behind you, hopefully. Just got a couple more things to do. Are you coming to Jamie's party? Oh, I don't know. Depends what time Lady Muck decides to let me go. <laughs> well, I'll be there all night. The drinks are free and the men are rich. Two perfect ingredients for a night out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and make it. Yeah, they're all right, really. A bit rough around the edges, but a good laugh. I'll see you yeah. down there. Right. Any messages for me? What, at this time on a Friday evening? Everyone's gone home. Yeah, well, the sooner we get through this lot, the sooner we can go home, too. Now, I don't mind paying top whack as long as everything's just right, no cock-ups. It'll be fine, I promise you. Mm, well, it better have been. I don't want anyone waiting around for drinks. I want them to keep coming, OK? Right, now, what's going to happen is, the guests are going to arrive, there'll be some team photos, and then I'll do my speech. I want everything to be just right for my Jamie's birthday. Hardchester United. Just a moment. Call for you. Who is it? Linda Block. Comment on what exactly? Well, whoa, 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 slow down. I don't understand what you're talking about. No, I haven't received any facts. United condoms, just so you goalies can prove you can score. I'll poke holes in every one, mate. <laughs> Very right. good. Get some photos with Danny Rossville, it's great publicity. Good night. Where's this fax? What fax? I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't got time to run this office for you, Claudia. The least I expect you to do is check the fax machine. I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill them both. Excuse me, um, I don't know if this is a bad time, but I really need to talk to you. In my office, now. I want this mess cleared up before you go. Whatever it is you want to say, you better say it. Quick. Right. Well, um, a few days ago, uh, I don't know, last week sometime, Alan got a call from Milan asking him to leave Harchester and join them as director of football. He asked me to go along with him. And I went along with it. But I didn't like the idea from the start. So what's this then? Crisis of conscience? Yeah, to be honest, something like that. My loyalties were torn. Your loyalty should lie with this club before anything else. Well, that's easy for you to say, Linda. But when you've worked with someone most of your professional life, other things come into play. Yes, I have a contract with the club, but I owe that man a lot. So tell me, if you're so intent on remaining loyal to your beloved Alan, why are you here now, stabbing him in the back? I just thought you should know. I mean, it's going to come out one way or the other. And I figured that it would be better you hearing it from me than anywhere else. The press are bound to catch wind of it sooner or later. <laughs> I'm afraid it's too late for that. Hello? Uh, yes, it is. So you can see a Who's this? How'd you get my number? You heard what? I never said that. Right, babes, time for the team photo. I'll do after. to. Yeah, they'll pay him for all this after all. Come on. Come on, you know. Come on, you know. Come on, yeah, I'm very well, thank you, yeah. I was just wondering uh, when my contract's going to come through. It, 
It's just as Mr. Casali said that he'd fax it through today. Yeah, I, I had dinner with him last night, you know, in regards to Stevie Shaw. What do you mean you had dinner with him last night? Alan's career in football's finished. At least for the time being. Fortunate for you, though, you decided not to go. Alan would have dragged you down with him. You make it sound like I planned it. You've got to admit, it's pretty convenient that you came clean just as I found out. Well, considering I just betrayed my best friend and working partner for the past 12 years, I feel quite awkward about the whole thing, really. Hello? David? Alan? Get over here immediately. And if the press call, deny everything. I'm sorry, Alan. I can't talk right now. What? What do you mean you can't talk? Dave? Hey. No, 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 not one more. My wife would just kill me. Yeah, go on. You're 25 once. Put it there. Can I buy you a drink? They're free, aren't they? Yeah, but I can still get you up. I hate to see a woman in need. Come on, lover. I want to introduce you to Sebastian. He's off to do our wedding photos for free. <laughs> can I have some hush, please? I'd just like to say a few words about my gorgeous husband. <laughs> Jamie, thank you for all the love you've given me. We've had our ups and downs, but I can honestly say I wouldn't change you for a million dollars. I can't believe I'm going to have to let him go. Three days before the most important game of Hodges' history. After all, he's a damn good manager. And I've been in football long enough to know that a 2-1 lead against Mallorca means nothing. Still all to lose. I should have my head examined coming back here. We can get through this. Can we? I can't even persuade my own captain not to leave the club. We can still get him back, you know. I would love to believe that. No, I doubt he'll go. Steve is a young patriot. He'll want to conquer the battlefields in Europe from his own country. <laughs> I can't promise anything, but I'll do everything I can to keep him here. That is... If you still want me around. Now, I know I haven't been around much lately, but I want you to be as proud of me as an agent as I am of you as a goalie. Now, can everyone raise their glasses to England's future number one goalkeeper? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Jamie, my friend, I've brought something for you. You what? What's going on, please? I've brought you a baby. It's yours. Jamie, what is he going on about? Is this some kind of joke? What happens now, Alan? I'll be back. I don't think so. We've been on the phone at Milan. It seems that your deal there is off. Any ideas he'll take over at Harchester? Get lost, scum! Get out of the way! What are you doing now? You did this, didn't you? Oh. So you don't deny it, then? You sneaky... How could you do it to me?! What gives you the right to be angry with me? I'm the fruitcake, remember, who's been publicly slated. You betrayed me, you've lied to me, and as for Sneaky Alan, I'm not the one who tried to poach a player for my own club. It didn't happen that way. Don't try to deny it. And just for the record, I did not set you up. Well, somebody did, and I'm going to find out who. I'm sorry, Alan, but I think you did this all by yourself. So it's goodbye, then, is it? Don't you mean Arrivederci? Several reasons. Several? Yeah, do you want a list? As a matter of fact, I do have something for you. Dawn 
won't be needing this anymore. And I thought you could get your money back. Coming soon on Dream Team. You can't just buy a baby. I'm in charge of training now. You're wasting everyone's time. Just take it easy, Stephen. Listen to him. If I ain't broke, don't fix Trill it. it, Stevie. All I'm saying is, before we do anything new, let's wait for the new gaffer. John, you know how in a director's box you're supposed to remain impartial, dignified? You are supposed to be. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. It's something I can't do. Cut!